kingdom come. Let your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Good afternoon. Welcome back to Face the Book. You know what? You have authority. You have the keys to the kingdom. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. That should be our prayer today. That God, your kingdom be on this earth. Your will be done and, and your will be accomplished through us. And, and so today we want to talk about that, how that you have authority in Christ. You are more than a conqueror. You are an overcomer. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. You know, it's the lie of the enemy that would say you're defeated. You can't make it because of what you did in the past. You know, you can't go forward. You can't be what God uh, wants you to be. You know, even today, you know, the enemy would be trying to say, you know what, you messed up this week. And so you can't get up and you you can't keep going, but that is a lie, my friend. It is a lie straight from hell. You can be what God wants you to be, and you can do what he says you can do, and you can go where he says you can do. go. And it's not about your past. It's about his payment. It is not about your past, but it's about his payment for you. It's not about what you did or didn't do. It's about what Jesus has already done. He died on the cross and he 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 paid the price for your sin, your mistakes, your sickness so that you might have life and have it more abundantly. And so today we want to talk about the authority of the believer. You have authority in Christ. The most the number one thing the enemy doesn't want you to know is to know your heavenly father, to know his love for you. Because see, the love of God is the flame that keeps you going. The knowing his love for you is what keeps you on fire for Jesus. His love is what compels you and gives you the strength and the power to live for him. When you know how much you, he loves you, you don't want to do anything that displeases him. See, this is not a try to be good enough thing. It, it's a falling in love with Jesus and him allowing him to just rush over you, to come in consistently consume you and enable you to live the life he has for you. Isn't that awesome? And today I want to read to you from Mark 16, 17, and 18. <clears throat> Mark chapter six, 16, verses 17 to 18, it says, And these signs will follow. It doesn't say maybe, it doesn't say might, maybe someday. It says these signs will follow. They will follow those who believe. Who are they going to follow? Those who believe. In my name, in whose name? In Jesus' name. They will cast out demons. They will speak with new tongues. They will take up serpents. Now, when you read that right there about serpents, I mean, I guess you could, a literal snake, you know, if you accidentally stumbled upon it and picked up a snake, you know, you could expect God to protect you. You know, I mean, I wouldn't go out and handle snakes, you know what I mean, like some people do. <laughs> That's just crazy. But the thing is, a serpent in the Bible, you know, when you think of a serpent, you think of the devil, you think of the enemy, don't you? Well, it, it's saying that basically when you run into a serpent or you run into something evil, you can, you can sling that thing back and keep going. Amen? Take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly, anything deadly, it will by no means hurt them. They will lay hands, they will lay hands on the sick and they will recover. It's saying these signs shall follow them. They'll cast out demons. They'll speak with new tongues. They'll lay hands on the sick and recover. They'll take up serpents. They'll Any deadly thing that, that tries to come on them, they will overcome it. They will not be taken down. They will overcome it. My friend today, if you are a believer, ask yourself, am I a believer? Well, it says if you're a believer, if you believe in Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior, if you are a follower of Christ, if you are a believer, these signs will follow you. My friend, God wants to take over your life. He wants to consume you, and he wants to use you mightily. Great and mighty things. He wants to show you. He says, call unto me, and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things that thou knowest not. Right now is the time to rise up and to be what God wants you to be. I, my friend, if you're a believer, you can walk over to a sick person, and you can slap your hand on him and say, in the name of Jesus, be healed, and they will recover. That's what the Bible says. Now, of course, we know we got to be living for God. we got to be serving him. we got to be obedient to him to walk in his power and his authority. But you know, when you're doing what God wants you to do and when you're seeking his face, you're a believer. You're a believer and you have power and authority over the enemy. Don't be discouraged today. Don't be down and out today because you have power 
to overcome the enemy. I've been amazed with what God's been doing with the youth here at Place of Meeting. The night fire youth, he has just breathed his life on them. I mean, he has arisen. The dead bones have arisen. And God is awakening them and shaking them. And you know what's been awesome? We've been seeing miracles and signs and wonders. Because, you know, uh, since God has moved on them and touched their hearts and really been giving them a revelation of who he is, they begin to see their authority. And they've been praying for the sick and, and different prayer requests that have come in. And and these these children they've been praying for have been, have been recovering. By the power of God, by the Spirit of God. Because why? We're praying in faith. We're believing. And my friend, it can happen for you too. If you feel dry and down and out today, all you have to do is start believing who your God is. Looking at His promises. Looking at who He says you are in Him. You can't stay down out when you're reading, Oh, I'm an overcomer. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. You start reading that kind of thing, you can't just be, Oh, it's just a terrible day. Another's going my way. It's so awful. You can't be like that. No, you get encouraged. You get strengthened. And you get empowered. My friend, the enemy has been defeated. He's defeated. He's a loser. He's a liar. He can't do anything. He can't have your life unless you let him. He can't steal, kill, and destroy. You know, the Bible talks about the enemy and how that he's like a lion roaming about looking, seeking whom he may devour. May. If you've ever been in English class, you have to have permission to do when when the word may is used, may I, may I devour you? Believer, may I devour you? No! You just look at him and I say, no, you may not. The enemy cannot destroy your life unless you let him. It's by you talking, talking defeat. It's by you letting him come in and use your mouth. Oh, I can't do anything. Well, there he comes in. It's by you being disobedient to God that the enemy comes in. It's by you getting a wrong attitude that the enemy comes in and destroys. It's by you doing things you know that aren't right that the enemy gets to come in. But when you're sticking close to Jesus, when you're sticking close to this word of God, the enemy can't get in. Why don't you just determine this week to stay so full of love, to stay so full of what Jesus says, to stay so full of how much God loves you and thinks about you and cares about you. How about you determine this week to get a little note card and write down who God says you are. I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. I'm an overcomer. I can do all things. You know, I, I'm more than a conqueror. Why don't you determine this week to write that down and to speak only that this week and see how God uses you. See how God changes your life. See how you're different this week than you were last week. Well, I just want to pray for you real quick and then I'm going to let you go. Heavenly Father, I just thank you for these people that are watching today. And Father God, I thank you that they'll do exactly what I've been saying. Face the book. They'll look at the word of God. They'll begin to hear your promises and to hear your love. And Father, and, and to let you just transform them into what you want them to be. I want them to just, just to be infused this, this week, Father, with strength. Just give them strength. Give them hope. Encourage them, Lord. Minister to them this week, Father. Strengthen them with might through your spirit in the air, man. Open the eyes of their understanding. Let's see the hope of their calling. Let's see the glorious inheritance that they have in you. And, Father, the exceeding greatness of your power towards them who believe. And we pray for all these things in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you, and we'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.